Back inside the big dome. With Inebra holding on to a precarious five-point lead, 408 remaining. I'll give credit to credit to Red Bull, Richard. Uh, they never gave up, but you know, they were shooting horribly That's right. throughout the game. You know, they just maintain their aggressiveness. As you can see here, the fourth quarter field goal shooting, 50% for Red Bull, 4 of 17 for Barangay Hinebra. You know, it doesn't matter how strong you start, it's how uh, strong you finish as well. You know, Hinebra led by as much as 17 points in this ballgame. Here's Artadi. Kabato for three. And Mick with a rebound. That's a big basket for Hinebra. That's back-to-back -back offensive rebounds coming from Eric Mink. Baggio. Red Bull down by seven points. And Artadi with a steal. Valenzuela for three. Yes, sir. Wow, that would douse cold water in the rally of uh, Red Bull in the fourth quarter. Luis Bañez, you know, that three-pointer by Juti might just be might just be the knockout blow here for Hinebra. And yeah, damp it dampened the spirits of uh, Red Bull. You saw them taking hurried shots once again. Seventy to shoot, two-bit fires. That's another interception for Artadi. You know, well, Warren Ibanez, number of uh, errors here. He got two passes that were intercepted, and then a hurried three. You know, just moments ago, this was just a three-point game. That's correct. Uh, all of a sudden, magic of a three-point basket, a couple of offensive rebounds up by Eric Mink. Now it's back to ten. Here's Valenzuela. Kabatu. Swing it over to Kubit. Back to Kabatu. Eight to shoot for Hinebra. Two to create. Blocked by Rayback. Here's Salino Cruz. Jeff Chad for three. And Red Bull now taking three pointers here. Here's Jeff Chad. And a layup. Last two minutes. Brought to you by Botelite. Bata Gala. Yeah, still a bit too early to uh, launch three point baskets. That's a good decision there by Jeff Chan. Here's Valenzuela. And two minutes to play here in the ball game. That ball ends up with Tubid. And Hinebra will use up the shot clock here with a minute and a half remaining in the fourth quarter. Here's Venezuela to, to make outside Tubid for three. Yes, sir! That's a one-two punch right there. One by Juti Valenzuela and now by Ronald Tubid. Here's Alper, still plugging away. Alper now with uh, nine points. Which is actually a conference high for uh, Mike Alper. It's a good start for him in a Red Bull uniform. Eight seconds to shoot for Hinebra. Four to shoot. Two bit for three. Alino Cruz gets the basketball for Red Bull. On the ball. That's a foul. Yes, uh, Junti Valenzuela reaching in on Salino Cruz. And you know, with this impending victory by Barangay Hinebra, all of a sudden, from seventh place, they would find themselves in a tie for third spot. At seven and six. You know, the team standings now really looks like... Uh, Edsa during rush hour, <laughs> or in your case, it's uh, bumper to bumper. South, 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 <laughs> South Luzon Expressway. That's right. The whole day. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, except at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you go to practice. 
Salina Cruz has four points and nine rebounds. Here's our Tokyo Tokyo Bebagorito rookie of the game featuring Jeff Chan. Who claims to be the next Alokaiti. <laughs> look alike. <laughs> ah, look alike. <laughs> okay. I'm winding down in the fourth quarter. Ginebra on their way to getting their seventh win. And Red Bull, well, their problems are far from over. They'll, they'll be absorbing their seventh consecutive defeat. That's correct, you know, and uh, 10 overall. Okay, 10 defeats overall. So, uh, there's going to be only five assignments left for uh, Red Bull to try to string up a number of wins. Our final score here in the first game, 83 for Hinebra, 76 for Red Bull. So Hinebra gets paid back after losing to Red Bull in their first meeting. And they move up to 7-6 in the team standings for Cheng Yao. It's our seventh game losing skip now for Red Bull. And uh, something that they're really not used to. And, uh, well... One of the reasons why uh, a Red Bull loss is because of the game of uh, this guy here. Who will be speaking with our very own Riba Chaco. Riba? Thanks, Rico. I'm with our best player of the game, Ronald Tubin. Ron, kanina up kayo by 17 points. Tapos ng fourth quarter, parang medyo dumikit sila. Ano nangyari? Well, siguro, uh, parang sobrang relax kami. Kasi alam naman natin Red Bull. Ano yan eh. Kumbaga parang he never win eh. Never say die then. Baka pwede humina yung depensa namin eh. So parang nung last ano na. Uh, sabi ni Coach, uh, wag mag-relax kaya pinandahan namin kasi baka masilat na naman. So Ron, with your uh, fourth straight victory, wala na kayo sa ilalim. Kung baga nasa gitna na kayo, gaano ka-importante itong panalo ninyo ngayon? Well, siguro uh, one game at a time. Sobrang maganda to. Sobrang masarap kasi nakaangat na kami ng konti. Tsaka naka-level na kami sa kung saan yung magulong ano, standing. So, tsaka kailangan kasi kulang kami. So kailangan na namin sa isayo. Hanggang sa game, pokpok lang pokpok, sabi ni Coach. Congratulations again. Thank you, Ron. Welcome. Okay, back to you, Ma. Okay, back to you, Miko, Richard. Well, congratulations to Ronald Tubin and company. And I'll add to that, 15 points and 11 rebounds and no turnovers. All game for Ronald Tubin. And uh, we'll be back to wrap up this uh, ball game after these messages. <laughs> Back inside the Big Dome again, Hinebra winning over Red Bull 83-76. So Ronald Tubit leading away with a double-double performance. Skyros Baggio, his 16 points was not enough despite a late rally by Red Bull Barajo. So Hinebra improves to 7-6, Red Bull drops to 3-10. and 10. Coming up next uh, here on CS9, uh, it will be Raider Shine versus Santa Lucia. For Riva Chanko, Eric Reyes, my partner Richard Del Rosario, I'm Nico Halili saying good evening from the Big Dome, Bella Alta, Filipinas. This is the PBA on CS9.